Hey, g'day guys. It's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I've had a bit of a request from one of my subscribers to give him a bit of a hand setting up his link ECU. I have started a series on aftermarket computers and I want to work through all the wiring and each step of the way I want to put in the adjustments and how to use the software. I'm not teaching you how to tune a car. There's plenty of really awesome resources. One of them is a Kiwi firm. Amazing resources on how to tune. But I'm going to break it right down to the bare basics on actually how to use the software. Because a lot of people, there's no point trying to tune their car if they can't use the program to begin with. So I'm going to start off real basic. Um, but I've kind of missed a few steps um, for Brian. Hey, this is one's for you. Basic fuel mixture adjustment, which I believe he's done. And a little bit about timing and how to find it in the software. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Alright guys, so we're going Those to start off. So let's going to go it. into let's the program, PC do. Link G4 Plus. Excuse me. And you like these curtains here? Fantastic, aren't they? Uh, right. This screen will come up. Normally you would connect to the vehicle. So connect to ECU right there. And when you want to store to the ECU, there's the, the store to ECU function. We got that. This one, I don't have that option, so I'm going to uh, open a file and I'm going to use the base map for 1UZ VVTi. It's going to be close enough for what we're working on. Okay, with the software open, and you'll be connected, it should say over here it's online. One of the very first things I recommend you do is to save a copy of your tune. Before you adjust anything, It'll, and this will allow you to go back to this point in time of that setup. So if you do some something dumb, and I will warn you right now, making adjustments to an aftermarket computer are at your own risk. I'm only going to teach you how to set up the computer, how to use the software. I'm not teaching you how to tune. There are other resources online for you to learn how to tune. However, making sure that we use good practices will help you and getting the best out of the system or it will allow you to communicate with your tuner um, however you need to to make the appropriate changes that your tuner recommends if he's comfortable with you doing that but for to do that you do need how to you do need to know how to use the software so the first thing we do is we save a copy so we go file we go save as I'm just going to pop into here I've got, a, I've got a map called Tuning Maps, and I'll just make a new folder. We're going to click into here. And we're going to save it. So I now have a copy of the tune right there. And then what I recommend you do is you save it again. Now, you, you may think I'm just being crazy here. File, save as. The reason I do this is if you're leaving, it'll ask you what do you want to store, do you want to save, and you can overwrite that original copy. You want to keep that original copy. So we go save as. Brings up the same one. Brian's video, adjusted. Save. So now when I make adjustments to whatever system in here, uh, we're going up fuel setup. If I make an adjustment and I make it uh, 34 and I save it, file save, it goes into the second folder, not into the original. So if I want to, I can go back to the first map, so the first setup, the base settings. Quite safely, I can revert, undo all my changes, and go back. Very, very important that you should do that. And it's just good working practices. So along the top here we have some different screens. And if you've loaded the base program, you'll have the three. Configuration, tuning, and logging. We're not going to worry about the logging for the moment. We're going to look at the tuning screen and the configuration screen. Tuning will give some different live data at the bottom. And configuration will give you a different set of live data at the bottom of the screen. Down the side we have ECU settings, and I want to push the screen. So we have uh, ECU settings along the side, 
we've got a log file manager, event log, and parameters. We're just going to concentrate on this ECU settings. So if I push it here, it brings up this, this drop down menu. And if we look closely, we can actually find it elsewhere, but I never do it that way. Here it is, log ECU settings. And it brings it up, oh, it pops it down the side. So view, log manager, view parameters. So let's go back, ECU settings, which I can access from here. Sorry, I was just uh, interrupted for a moment. Going back into here, we've got um, the configuration. We're going to look, well, that's gonna tell you that it's got uh, eight cylinders, four stroke bit about it so we're interested today just to keep it real simple we're going to look at the fuel setup fuel main it's on sequential because it's a v8 eight individual cylinders and the fuel equation is on traditional now on traditional it will give you a master fuel here so that will give you a trim across the whole table and the load source is normally on map for most of the vehicles that you're working on um, being this is a standard 1UZ, uh, it will be, should be on map, uh, on a normal throttle body. So master fuel, that adjusts the whole fuel map. We're going to pull up the tuning here, and there's the fuel table straight away. The tuning map can be found, so fuel, come right down to the bottom of fuel, fuel table 1. There it is. So that's your tuning map. It shouldn't be into the boost figures it's because if it's an NA, naturally aspirated vehicle. And when it's running, one of these squares here will light up with wherever you're revving it. And you adjust those appropriately to your vehicle. To do the timing, looking at configuration, we go ECU settings, ignition, because it's ignition related, ignition setup, ignition main. It's going to be direct spark because this particular vehicle has got individual coils. You've got your dwell mode, delay, and your duration. Now, if you're worried about timing, one of the real important things you should always do, and you should do it pretty much with any aftermarket computer, regardless of how many you've done, how many times you set up, you should always check your base timing. So we'll look at that base timing in just a moment. I'm going to bring up the ignition table here. So we go ECU settings, ignition table one, down at the bottom, and there it is there. Now you can also toggle between the ignition table and the fuel table, right here. Fuel table, ignition table, so that makes it much quicker. There's also a hotkey for it. I don't use the hotkeys a lot myself, but so there we go. And you can turn it into a graphical view right there so there's a graphical view of the ignition table and there's a graphical view of the fuel table oh. here we'll go back to there we go so that's our fuel table we'll go to ignition table now, as I mentioned earlier, base timing, very, very important. So uh, I'm going to go, I'm setting this one in the configuration screen. ECU settings, pull it right down. We go to triggers. Trigger setup. You'll see here it's got 1UZFE VVTI. We'll turn it back to a 1UZFE. And it has changed color. Trigger one, trigger two, calibrate. We're gonna to go to this calibrate screen. So trigger offset. By adjusting that number, you will change where your base timing is. This one suggests a reference timing or a base timing of 10 degrees. The reason we do this is the computer doesn't actually know where the timing is. We have to tell it, we have to put in the numbers that tell it where the timing is. What we're basically saying is what we want the, the computer to do is generate a 10 degree 
timing setting whenever this reference, this trigger offset occurs. So when that occurs, the timing is at this number of degrees, and then it can adjust up and down as per the timing map. To do so, set base timing. Click on that, brings up this little screen, and there's some really good videos on the link website on how to adjust your um, the delay. But these numbers should actually be pretty close for a lot of vehicles um, with the, the base tune you, you get, but it does pay just to double check. If they're a long way different, ask a few questions. So it locks the timing to 10 degrees. So at this point, the timing will be at 10 degrees and you can adjust this number here until you generate 10 degrees with your timing light onto your front pulley. Then you push done and then you will save it appropriately, store to ECU, way it goes. I do recommend then going into your tuning, looking at your ignition in here, um, what you're expecting it to be, seeing if there's some trims, um, and I would expect it to be what the number in here is. So one little trick what I would might do, Let's do this, and I might go 20 degrees, do 20 degrees, I would go up here, and we've got some runtime values, so I'd look at some runtime values under ignition, and confirm that the ignition output, the actual ignition reading, is matched to that after all these trims. Okay, so there shouldn't be, if, we, if there's coolant temperature trims or idle air temp trims or all those, we can see them in here. But we want to know this ignition angle here, that that is being generated. Of course, when it's running, and I've got those numbers there and at 20, I want it to read whatever that ignition angle is there on the front crank, on the crank pulley of the engine. And that allows me to confirm that everything is sitting like it should. If it's not the same, then it needs to be adjusted or sorted until it is correct. So that hopefully gives you a little bit of an overview of some of the real basics of, of using the software. And hopefully you don't go adjusting shit that you shouldn't be adjusting. Because if it blows up, it's your own fault. There are great resources out there on a tune it. We're working on the basics. So <clears throat> let's get a bit more knowledge on how to use the software and work within your capabilities. Learn, watch some of this tuning stuff, and we will get an engine that runs like it should. Hope that was helpful. We'll talk to you again.